Hi, how are you? So this week we will continue to talk about apps and courses to learn Spanish. If you remember, two weeks ago we talked about Rosetta Stone and Memrise, and last week we talked about Pinsler and Babel. So today we're going to talk about Buso and Mango languages. So Buso is another course that is available both uh, on the website, on the desktop, and on the phone. So again, I'm trying it for, for Russian, that's the language I'm, I'm learning. And there's a small difference uh, between Busu and the other apps in the way you can test them. So in uh, Memrise, uh, Rosetta Stone, uh, Pimsleur, and Babel, they allow you to test the first lesson for free. So the trial is the first lesson. So you can see like the full um, the full lesson, but only only one. And after that, it's blocked. Busso is a bit different. As you see, uh, everything is unlocked. So I can see already uh, all these lessons and I can scroll down and I can do uh, all of them, but only part of the lessons. So actually, you can use Busu for all levels. You can keep going up, but only for some part of the, of the lessons. So mostly what you can do with the free version is the vocabulary. Um, so it shows you uh, some, some words, new words. Then they use it in dialogues. So you can already see uh, some use of these words in context. But 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 there is no grammar in the free uh, version so yeah so as i was saying with the free version of busu you can work on all the lessons uh, all the lesson plan but only on the vocabulary part if you take the premium version the paid version then you can also access to the grammar uh, explanations so as i was telling before, so some people really need the grammar explanations to learn a language. I'm one of them. I like to understand how the language works, but other people can learn in a more intuitive way and they don't need uh, so many, so much grammar. It also depends if the language you're learning is very similar to your mother tongue or very different. For example, um, if I'm learning Italian or Portuguese, probably I wouldn't need so much grammar. But Russian is very different than Spanish, so I feel I really need all the grammar part. So, how does Busu work? So, um, in this, so each lesson, at least the vocabulary part, is quite similar to Memrise and Babel. Keeps showing you uh, new words with the audio. Everything has an audio with images. So first it introduces you to the new vocabulary and then there are some exercises to practice and see if you are able to remember. There are also um, pronunciation exercises in which uh, you pronounce and it tells you if you're pronouncing well. And something interesting about Busu is that there's a community of people who are learning languages and give feedback to each other. For example, at the end of my first lesson, uh, it's asked, it has asked me to um, record how I would introduce myself in Russian. And apparently I will receive feedback from a native Russian. And at the same time, I will be reviewing uh, people who are learning Spanish. So that's uh, something that's very specific from Busu, And I think that's a very interesting feature. So you can interact with people who are learning uh, your language and they, you can get feedback from natives from the language you are learning. And also, this is an app that works with translation. Okay, uh, we saw that Rosetta Stone doesn't work with translation, works only relating new words with images, and there's no translation at all. And all the other apps work with translation. So every time you learn a new word, you get um, the translation to English. And also, uh, I saw that it's giving some tips. Like, for example, at uh, the beginning, when uh, you learn how to introduce yourself and to say nice to meet you, uh, women say encantada and men say encantado. So it shows you a tip like, OK, pay attention that men say encantado and women say encantada. So in addition of the intuitive learning and the repetition, there are also some tips that can help you understand a few things that might be uh, different from, from Spanish to English. 
And another thing that I like about Busu is that it tells you in which level you are. So it's using the common European uh, framework, which is the A1, A2, B1, B2. So beginner is A1, A2, and uh, intermediate is B1, B2. And Busu covers the four levels, A1, A2, B1, and B2. If I scroll down, probably I can show you. You see that the last lessons correspond to the upper intermediate level. So by the time you finish, um, all the lessons in Busu, you have completed, or at least you have seen all the content that corresponds to the B2 level, which is an upper intermediate level. So I think that's very interesting. At least as a language teacher, I like to know to which level I can reach with each um, app. And Busu also works with a subscription plan, so you can get a subscription for three months, six months, and 12 months. Right now, uh, three months is 30 euro, six months 57, and 12 months about 70. But right now there's an offer at 50%, so you can get one year of Busu for 35. And another good thing about Busu, maybe, if you're interested in that, is that with the premium version, you have access to uh, all the languages that are available in Busu. So with one subscription plan, you can learn several languages. If anyone is interested to learn several languages at the same time, and they're available in Busu, with one subscription, you can learn more than one language at the same time. And the other uh, course I've been looking is Mango Languages. The interesting thing about Mango Languages is that they have over 70 languages to learn. From all the apps I've been telling until now, this is the only one that has Malay which is one of the languages I'm learning, and I find very difficult to find uh, resources for that. So with Spanish, it's easier. You have many options for Spanish, but if you're learning also other languages, uh, you should know that Mango has many, many of them. So if you're learning languages for, for travel and you want to like learn some basics uh, of the language, the, of the country where you're going to, Mango is an option because they have over 70 languages. And also their subscription plan, which goes monthly and uh, yearly, you have access to all of them. So also with one subscription, you can uh, learn all the languages they have. So uh, honestly, I haven't tested Mango languages because they do offer a two weeks a free trial but they ask for the credit card details. Of course, they won't charge it until the two weeks trial period is over, but I'm the one who always remembers, uh, sorry, always forgets. I always forget to cancel these uh, subscription plans when I take a free trial. So nowadays I try to avoid uh, giving my card details when I do free trials because I always forget and they end up charging me. And I'm testing many things and courses, so yeah. So I didn't, I didn't try how this one works, but I've been looking at their website, how their courses work, and it looks quite interesting. So they also cover different aspects of the language, like the vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, culture, listening, readings, pronunciation. And the way they work, as they explain it, is that uh, they work with sentences and dialogues. Then they kind of break it down so you can understand how each part uh, is translated and how it works. And then they build uh, sentences together with the vocabulary you already know. So you start with, uh, yeah, so with the sentences and dialogues, you break it down to words and then you put it back together and you can build uh, new sentences and, and dialogues and text. So you can start um, making your own sentences. And also it works with translation. So um, you can learn Spanish like from English. So um, you will get the translations in English from the, the Spanish part you are, you're learning now. And I couldn't find which levels they cover. Also, I've been looking at different languages and it seems that some languages are more complex than others. They have different number of, of units and lessons. So. Actually, I guess that the more common languages, the languages that most people learn are probably more complete, like Spanish, so Spanish, English, French. These languages, uh, I guess they are more complete, but I couldn't find until which level it gets. So I don't know if they cover only the basics, like the beginner level, or they go to intermediate. 
So I was telling you before that Buzu reach uh, the intermediate level, upper intermediate level. Mango languages, I don't know. So for sure, covers all the beginners, I guess, but I'm not sure about the, the intermediate. And well, so that was um, everything for today. So we have already seen six different apps and courses. And next week, I will tell you about uh, two more. So I hope to see you next week. I'll be back with more tips, resources, and learnings. Have a great weekend. Bye.